Hey guys, so in my last video I talked about this touchpad and how you can use it to control um, synth effects parameters but I neglected to talk about these pads and that's the um, purpose of this video. So basically to explain how this touchpad setup works you have to imagine uh, pressing some buttons on the neck. So you've pressed some buttons on the neck, but there's no sound playing because to do that you need to touch on the touchpad. Now if you touch on this pad, you're going to be outputting notes to channel 1. Right? Uh, if you touch on this pad, you're going to be outputting those notes to channel 2. Similarly, this one will be channel 3 and this one will be channel 4. So what does that mean? Basically it means that you can have multiple synthesizers assigned to different channels and you can control or change your sound just by changing which pad you're pressing on. You can also press multiple at once if you want to layer um, the sounds together. So I'm going to show you how that all works. Okay, so the first thing we do is we switch to the arrangement view where you can see an audio track and a MIDI track. We then delete the audio track because we're not going to use it because the MIDI track is the track that we're going to use to hold our synthesizer, which is massive. So we drag it across into there and we can load a sound. For example, that one and press the in button and that's a, that is the exact set of steps that I described in my previous video uh, but we're gonna make one small change here under this box we're gonna change it from all channels to say channel 1 and what that means is it will only listen to channel 1 so well, it means that our tribase, when you touch on the large pad, that will send notes out of channel 1 and they'll be received by this synthesizer on channel 1. If you press any of the other pads on the tribase, they won't be played through this synthesizer. Now what we're going to do is right click on that track and go duplicate. So we've created two identical tracks. But in this one, we're going to change this to listen on channel 2. So you have to be pressing one of the small pads to get this synthesizer to make a sound and then we can actually go and change the sound of this particular synthesizer to something else. Okay, And then we can repeat the process again. So we can duplicate it. You can also duplicate by pressing Control D and then selecting channel 3 and again choosing a different sound